One of the highlights of Matthew chapter 17 is the transfiguration of Jesus. Here's some background. The identity of Jesus as both Son of Man and Son of God is progressively coming to the forefront more and more in the Gospel of Matthew. Now we come to Matthew 17, verses 1 through 6, the story of the transfiguration. Here's what it says. Now after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, led them up on a high mountain by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, talking with them. Then Peter answered and said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, let us make here three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And suddenly a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their faces and were greatly afraid. Here are three insights regarding what the transfiguration shows us. Insight number one, it shows us the divine glory of Jesus. Jesus is transfigured. He's transformed before Peter, James, and John. His face is shining like the sun. His clothes have become dazzling white. Peter, James, and John are being given a glimpse of Christ's eternal glory, the glory he had before taking on humanity, and the glory he will have after his death, resurrection, and ascension. Insight number two, The transfiguration shows us that Jesus is the fulfillment of the scriptures. Moses and Elijah both appear and talk with Jesus. Moses, who lived roughly 1,400 years earlier, represents the law. And Elijah, who lived approximately 900 years earlier, represents the prophets. Both are talking with Jesus. As per Luke's account in Luke chapter 9, they're talking with Jesus about his upcoming death, which both the law and the prophets foretold. The time is coming soon to pay for the sins of wayward humanity, to take the death penalty in place of sinful man. Jesus is the fulfillment of the Jewish law, and he's the fulfillment of the prophets. He's the Messiah. Insight number three, the transfiguration shows us that we need to listen to Jesus. Peter, who according to Luke chapter 9 has been sleeping, offers to build three tabernacles, three booths of branches, probably as a way of kicking off the messianic reign. But while Peter is still speaking, a bright cloud overshadows them, and a voice is heard from the cloud, God's voice, interrupting Peter, rebuking Peter. And God declares that Jesus is his beloved Son, with whom he is well pleased. And then he says, hear him. The best thing Peter can do is listen to Jesus. And the best thing we can do is listen to Jesus. Let's be careful when we think we have great ideas about what to do, God is the initiator of anything good, and we're the responders. Let's listen. Let's take things to heart, and let's respond to his leading. There's a time to act, and there are things to do, but may our actions be in response to the Lord's leading. Thanks for listening.